It's Monday, February 19th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. In the wake of one of the most violent days in recent Birmingham history, police continue to investigate two separate shootings that left six people dead on Friday. A young couple was found dead in their vehicle late Friday afternoon in the Wylam neighborhood of West Birmingham. They'd been missing for more than 24 hours. One of the victims was a cousin of Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin. Also on Friday afternoon, an apparent drive-by shooting left four men dead in Birmingham's Smithfield community. As of last report, no arrest had been made. After a raucous public meeting, including accusations of bias, Jefferson County Democrats make their pick for county treasurer. The meeting follows the disqualification of previous candidates for failing to complete financial disclosure forms in time. AL.com reports the county's Democratic Executive Committee chose Angela Webb Weinberg as the candidate. The treasurer's duties include selecting banks to invest millions in county money. With no Republicans in the race, the Democratic candidate is most likely to win the position. And colleges and universities both in and outside of Alabama are waiving application fees this week. Through Friday, participating institutions are joining in the spring 2024 application campaign. According to the Alabama Department of Education, almost 40 colleges and universities, as well as the Alabama Community College System, are participating in the program. During a similar campaign in October, more than 25,000 seniors across the state applied to colleges and universities. Visit alabamapossible.org for more information. You'll find more news anytime at wbhm.org.